In this presentation, we will take a look at a scatter graph within Excel and a trend line within that scatter graph. This is going to be our information. It'll be similar to previous data, however, or we're going to be using a similar function, a similar graph type for it, except the data lines will be a little bit different here in terms of the point. We won't have a linear type of relationship. We're just going to have a bunch of dots, a scatter graph. You can see what we have here in terms of the dates. The dates and then we've got the units so this is the set of data the data that we have and then we're going to have the total costs what we want to do is see a relationship between the units and the cost so we would expect of course as units go up we would think that there would be a rise in costs and we would hope that that would be somewhat of a basically a linear type of relationship because that's what we we're hoping for within our analysis type format but it's not really a perfect world and therefore, we're probably not going to end up with a complete linear relationship all the time. And we're going to have to say, OK, how can we maybe approximate a linear type of relationship? Now, we don't want the dates uh, here. So we don't want the months. We just want these two sets of data. So we're going to highlight uh, these two columns in order to generate our scatter graph. We need that. We're going to have the headers here because that's going to help us to label and then just the numbers. Then we're going to go to the insert tab up top charts we're going to hit these dots again we're looking for the dots we don't want the lines this time it's kind of a mess if you choose the lines right we want the dots we just want a bunch of dots here and if we choose that item you'll note that we have the units and the units are going to be down here on the x-axis and then we're going to have the cost the cost up top so the units are increasing over here and then the cost on the left we could act, add titles to to uh, indicate that we could say the plus item over here if we select plus and we want to say we want to have titles so we have access titles we could put in access titles and then we could label these access titles and this is going to be the units and this is going to be the cost uh, one limit cost there we go so that could give us some further indication here and then up top this is just going to be called scatter diagram i'm just going to delete this actually to give us a bit more room so we have a little bit more room there so here's going to be our data we could adjust the axes in terms of the amounts on the axes if we so choose the next thing however that we would typically want to do is think okay what can we put in terms of a trend line here because of course this isn't a linear relationship we don't see a straight line happening which we would kind of like to see we see something kind of like an increase that we would expect because as units increase it looks like the trend is that the cost increase that would seem reasonable that's what we would expect to have if we want to do standard type of analysis however we want a linear type of relationship and so we're gonna to have to draw a line somewhere in here that would be approximated now there's different kind of methods we could think about and, and when we might have an outlier that throws off the line or something like that but we can imagine what type of line would kind of approximate these dots best and we could use excel in order to uh, get that by going to the trend lines down below and just saying you know give me a trend line and there you go it gives you a trend line and excel is approximating that now again there's a lot of different types of i'm going to choose more options a lot of different types of options we could do uh, to get into variations on this trend line we won't get into all the variations here at this time i do want to note down below that it is also possible for us to display the equation if we check this box it gives us the equation which we probably want to pull over somewhere less in the way so we could say hey that's the equation of the trend line and that could be useful because we what we're usually going to want to do is say when if we extended this trend line to the vertical axis when would it hit the vertical axis how can we figure that we could set x to zero and solve and then figure out uh, what this full line would be to the vertical axis on out and that could give us some useful information when we conduct our analysis so again excel can be really useful for us to pictorially see this information and if we're working in problems even if we don't do these problems in excel of course as we do tests we have to write this out in paper and pencil and whatnot it's nice to be able to visually see it and it's also nice for this to basically help us out to figure out this you know this information that we can then apply to a paper and pencil type of format because obviously if you saw this information without excel to graph this and, and then to put in the trend line it's going to be tedious work uh, if you put this information into excel you can graph this out and see that fairly clearly get the concepts once the concepts are down apply them out 
in such a way that you'll see them in a paper pencil type format in a test type format.